Okay, this is part three. And if you're still with me, thank you for sticking with me. And we're almost complete. We've almost completed the tour of the Fairmount County Museum. It's a 1941 to 42 Grant County basketball team. Fifty eight to fifty nine Quakers basketball team. So I would assume that's the house uh, high school, Fairmount High School basketball team. One fifteen lost eight. Here's sixty three, sixty four, sixty four, sixty five, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven. Oh, that's really faded. It's almost almost a ghost picture by now. She should put museum quality glass. I think I'll mention it to her. There's a 68 basketball team. And 68, 69. Badly faded. They should have museum quality glass on these pictures because that will prevent fading like that. Ooh, now we're in the music room. This is upstairs in the Fairmount Museum. There's the bell from the Fairmont, Fairmount High School. So no doubt, James Dean went back and forth to his classes at the sound of that bell. Bell from Fairmount High School, which is no longer standing. It's been torn down. However, they did save the stage, according to the um, lady downstairs. Well, this is quite interesting, this room. It's an old Victrola. Look at that. That is fascinating. They use these rolls here instead of records. I walk with the king. That's what's playing on this old 78, but they were very brittle, those old records. I had a pile of them and they break really easily. Old trumpet. And there's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. No, not really, but Kind of reminds you of it, doesn't it? Federation Band, Fairmount, Indiana. So, look at this. Fairmount Academy Band at Scott Opera House, back in the day. Interesting.
Ooh, look at that old tuba and drum. Looks very old. Okay, and here's the map of Fairmount. So the only thing we're missing now is the Garfield cat section. And this completes our tour, or that will complete our tour of the Fairmount Museum. Garfield the cat. Oh, those are super steep stairs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I trip on them a lot. <laughs> one thing with your video, you keep calling us the Fairmount Museum. Uh -huh. or the James Dean Museum. James Dean Museum. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I just, if you're going to put it on YouTube, I want people to get it right. Okay, so that's the James Dean Museum. Yeah. Not the Fairmount Museum. Like our logo. See? Right here. Huh? Our t-shirts. Okay. So now are you guys moving to Main Street or Yes we are. Um okay. my family is giving us um bigger things for display. Excellent. It's be amazing. And when do you think that will open? Um not probably for another year. Okay. Because there's a lot to get done. Like yeah, that. I would imagine. Well that's something to look forward to. Yeah, we're real excited and just for fans to see it too because it's it's gonna be incredible. I'll look forward to that. Yeah, you, you'll have to come back. Yeah, I will. That'll be my third visit. This is my second visit. Nice. I was here in August of 21. And um, this museum was closed at that time. What day did you come? I don't know. Wednesday, maybe? We're always you know? closed on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. But look at the, I'm going to take a quick look at his bike again. Look at that. Triumph. And that little motorcycle. So that's his motorcycle that he scooted around town in. Czechoslovakian made. Hmm. Interesting. Is there a Garfield room? Or yeah, no? it's on to the left. I think I missed it. Yeah. Because I don't remember that. Okay. Okay, so this is the room devoted to Garfield the Cat, illustrated by James Robert Davis, another famous James from Indiana. Grew up on a small farm near Fairmount, Indiana. And his father raised Black Angus cattle. 25 assorted cats that were always underfoot hanging around the barnyard cats gave him Jim an appreciation for an understanding of cats. Garfield the cat. So he has passed away as well.
And there is a picture of him. In Garfield the kitty cat. So once again, we have a room devoted to Jim Davis, cartoonist of Garfield the Cat, who's also from Fairmount, Indiana. Okay. And that completes our tour of the museum. And we'll be going outside to see what's outside going, taking a stroll down Main Street. <laughs>